Hi, love. This is Rose from the Cackling Moon. <laughs> um, sorry for the weird setup. Um, my husband's borrowing the desk. So I am going to be kind of just doing this whole thing um, in a different, kind of in a different way. So um, what I did was I took notes and I had to save it onto my iPad since the phone is recording. Um, but basically I took notes of everything that I was feeling, hearing, seeing um, when I was focusing in meditation on your aura energy. So um, for anyone who's watching, this is the aura energy reading, which is available in my online shop. And just for those of you who aren't aware, aura energy readings are completely channeled intuitively. And what that means is I focus on an image. So when you purchase the reading, you will send me an image of yourself, a photo. And it doesn't have to be a full body. It could be just your face. Um, a selfie is fine. I prefer something that is maybe somewhat recent, but it doesn't have to be super recent. I just, nothing like 10 years old and, you know, and what I do is I focus on the photo, um, I close my eyes, I get into kind of like a meditative state, and I focus on anything that I feel, hear, or see um, during that time when I'm connecting with your energy and just your picture and ev everything about you. You can ask questions, um, and I take notes. So whether I feel like writing it down on paper or um, I type it so in this case for my client I um, was typing it out on my phone um, I will take notes on everything that I see and then we go from there um, after the channeled version of this reading I will pull cards for you so I have um, the native spirit oracle and I also have the beautiful wild unknown in here <laughs> So I will be, um, let me get a little bit closer. So I will be pulling cards for you, okay? <laughs> so let me just get this. I don't want my tripod to fall. Okay. So, my love, um, first off, I want to start with um, your aura, okay? So your aura is very golden, okay? So... Everything that I'm going to be telling you right now is everything that I was experiencing, feeling, seeing, hearing when I was connecting with you. So, your aura is very golden. The hues range from a darker orange just an inch away from your skin. So, by when you think of an aura, um, I think a lot of times we think of just like one single color. Um, and technically our aura is in layers. Um, so the one that is closest to your skin, like a, like maybe like about a, an inch or a half an inch above your skin level, um, I was seeing it as a dark orange, okay? It was just an inch away from your skin that expanded outward and it faded into a bright yellow, okay? So when I was meditating and I was meditating on your image, um, those were the colors that were coming to mind. Uh, I wrote, you have a natural youth to you. You're always making the most of situations smiling and making others laugh around you is a part of who you are um so i really like had a basically the vibe that i got from you is very youth very young um a lot of people mistaken you for being a lot younger than what you really are um your attitude the way you act around people you're very vibrant and that has a lot to do with your <laughs> golden and yellow toned aura. I also put um, yellow is associated with a solar plexus chakra, which is located in your belly. Um, and it is, I feel it is your true happiness. So, okay, so basically the solar plexus chakra is in your belly region. It is associated with your health, for one, but it's also associated with your happy vibe. At least that's how I <laughs> associate it with. And your happy vibe is um, basically anything in this world that makes you truly happy. It is your gut when you are laughing, that, that, that deep, 
laugh that you know doesn't always come out it's it's it takes a special somebody or a special joke um, or something to really get you to laugh um, and you really feel it in the pit of your belly um, I, I put it's associated with the solar plexus chakra I feel your true happiness is a constant ebb and flow for you so it's like some days you're really happy other days you're more drawn in some days you're really out there and vibrant other days you want to just be inside um, and not around a lot of people so that was kind of like the vibe I was getting I was seeing like you know like the waves how they come in and out that's how I was seeing like your aura was like moving in that way okay and because it's the yellow vibe um, the yellow color I was thinking okay her aura is moving in and out um, so it, it made me feel symbolically that it was saying your moods range from um, feeling really good and, and vibrant to really drawn in okay um, I put some days you're tapping right into what makes you happy versus days where you're either confused or you're questioning what you want out of life so some days you are on top of the world and some days it's like you were questioning what is your life purpose okay I put there's a patch of green that appears to your upper left so I'm seeing the patch of green in your upper left hand corner um, the top like I was seeing it like angled okay and it was a patch of green here um, I put I see weeds growing from it so the image that I was getting was this patch of green or a light okay and then I was seeing like weeds sprouting from it um, it appears to be green holes in your aura so usually like when I see holes that are like black like little black cloudy um, holes in, in the auras which is symbolic for me and that's the way that I feel spirit is saying um, you are having like a lot of negative um, like little negative encounters and they're leaving like impressions on you okay well um, yours are green and seeing them more in like a weed aspect um, I'm feeling like that's my husband right there <laughs> um, I'm feeling like <sighs> what did I put in other words, I feel these are negative attachments that have grown into your energy field from past experiences that you haven't completely dealt with. So that was the vibe I was getting. For some reason, yours weren't coming out as black. I was seeing it as green. Um, I think I wrote more about that later on, so we'll, we'll just leave it as that. Um, I put, as you work past these issues, the weeds will, f will fall out. So as you work through these past issues, and what I'm talking about is I'm not talking about current issues. I'm talking about these weeds are symbolic for issues as a child, issues growing up earlier in life, stuff that you went through in the past. Um, next, I put to your lower half, the lower half of your body. So this is like more so like your belly down. Um, I see more pinks and red at the feet. So golden yellow aura all around, green patch here at the weed area, and then towards the bottom it was more um, pinky and red. I put you're grounded, and it is important, but you tend to run hot at times. So I, I put a question mark. So I'm, I'm asking you this as, do you tend to run hot, especially in the feet area? Do your feet always feel hot? Do you feel uncomfortable when your feet are hot? Um, I was getting that sensation myself of hot feet. Um, let's see. Sorry, my, my iPad keeps moving and I don't, <laughs> I lose my spot. Um, okay. Um, are you grounded? It's, it's important. Okay. You are grounded, but it, and as it is important, but you tend to run hot. Um, hot feet might be a physical symptom of an overcharged root chakra. So if you work with your chakras and if you are working constantly with your root chakra, which generally your root chakra is in like your um, your spine, your like your um, your butt area, <laughs> your tailbone. Um, but I also associate root chakra with my feet. So if you tend to do a lot of grounding work, um, you might be overdoing it because I was getting that sensation of like hot feet. Um, 
sometimes we focus too much on one chakra and you need to balance everything else so I wrote that as like a side note if you do focus more on just one chakra maybe you need to kind of even it out a little bit and focus on all the other ones I put on the far outer aura so this is outside of the the golden and the reds and the pinks that I was seeing so this is like the outline of the whole thing I put um, I see almost like a clear jelly layer it reminded me of like jello but clear I feel this is your bubble of protection uh, perhaps you've worked with Im imagining a layer of protection around you so if you've done um, like protection meditations or like you envision yourself um, engulfed in somewhat of a protective bubble then I was definitely seeing that um, if so it is working so just know it's working um, and it's there but needs to be strengthened I said strengthened by focusing on at least one on it at least once a day so doing that imagery imagining the layer of protection around you at least once a day I, I recommend in the morning as you wake up that will help strengthen it um, the jelly is what will act as a web to pull in negativity rather than allowing it to pierce your aura the way that the weeds have so this jelly is kind of like a sticky matter I was like seeing it as a sticky like a spider web where anytime something was trying to get into your aura the jelly acts as like a little magnet or it's sticky where it will attract it and grab it before it can pierce inward but there are things I have managed to pierce inward and more so in your younger years like when you were a child or a young adult um, probably because you didn't know about the whole protection your spirituality your awakening didn't happen at that moment um, so you were more vulnerable to that kind of stuff um, so that's what I put and then I saw two Siamese cats sitting on either shoulder so you had one here and you had another one over here <laughs> um, and I put two other cats so I saw two I saw four cats total the two on your shoulder which were definitely Siamese and then there was two other cats um, I put two other cats, cannot make them out, they're just shadow, and they sit above your head, so they were like around your crown chakra. You appear to be surrounded by them. They are protectors, but I also feel they're extensions of you. Um, a possible passed away pet, as well as animal guides, who help you make decisions from right and wrong. So I feel like, like you know, like in the cartoons where you would see the devil and the angel on either side, I feel like you have like the Siamese cats are there like guiding you in that way. Um, the cats themselves can be symbolic if you do have past pets, um, but I feel the cat is very strong in your, um, um, how do I even say it? Like, if you have a guide in an animal form, it would be a cat. Um, let's see something about your left hand so I was seeing something with your left hand spirit shows me a light like lasers shooting out of your left hand are you left-handed do you use your left hand a lot um, I put carpal tunnel pains um, I put marriage perhaps as this would be the hand that you would wear a ring if you're married so something with your left hand was really like popping out at me when I was focusing then I put there's a male figure standing to your left and a smaller figure by his side but I wasn't sure if it was a child or just a smaller person <laughs> and then I put the sex is unknown so definitely a large male okay and then you had a smaller person didn't know if it was male or female I put the older male has a strong presence to him he's quiet but his presence speaks for itself you can't miss him even though he may not be saying much so he's there you can't miss him when he's there um, he doesn't have a lot to say but his presence is known so you'll definitely feel it you'll see it you know it when he's in the room um, He's a protector and will step in when things get too much for you. So I was really noticing with you the protection, protectors, um, a lot. There was a lot of that surrounding you. I don't know if you ask for that a lot, perhaps. Um, 
where you feel like you need to be protected a lot but that was a lot of like the same theme that I kept feeling or coming back to um I put like a bodyguard and then I said the younger or smaller figure I feel is a representation of your child self and this kind of goes back to the green um color that I was seeing like the weeds in your green section of your aura um, where I was saying I feel like the smaller figure is symbolic for your childhood the childhood version of yourself um, I put it is a representation of your child self I feel they stick around because you have some childhood attachments you haven't completely dealt with so because there are issues as a child that you haven't fixed you haven't dealt with you haven't tapped into um, it's kind of like it's still there it's lingering around you it is energy that has not gone away because it hasn't been addressed um, perhaps this is why I cannot feel out the sex of the figure because it's more of a manifestation of other things so perhaps it's not even a spirit of a person it is just a manifestation of your childhood self um, it's just symbolic I put this might sound random but I feel there were a lot of memories surrounding food with you um, I was given the image of being in a kitchen cooking together with somebody talking over large bowls of soup <laughs> and then I put something like that had the image come to me with that impression of fond memories of food or fond memories of um, heartfelt conversations over soup or just like memories of the kitchen something like that and then I heard and I put this in quotes you have armor but sometimes you don't need to use it I am with you so I feel like um, somebody spirit we'll just say spirit is around and they say you have the armor you are protected um, but that you don't always have to use it because they are around and they're helping you okay so maybe let that be a reassurance to you that you are protected that you are being watched over if you ever worry about that which would make sense because like I said I was seeing or hearing and feeling a lot of like protection energy that you ask for or that you have around you so maybe that's like a theme with you maybe you have fears or maybe it's something you always felt like you needed to have a lot of protection around you something like that and then I put, I feel like you have many protectors on the other side. Spirit is around you and somebody is definitely watching out for you. And I put, I feel spirit is showing there's an issue of the heart. So there's a heart issue. I immediately placed my hand over my chest. This could be a past loved one with heart complications. So maybe someone in, in your family um, passed away from the heart area or because of the heart area. Um, or I put or perhaps something in the family health so maybe um, there's heart complications in your family um, somebody maybe it's just issues around that so I, I don't like to tap a lot into stuff like that like subject matters of health because um, I am NOT a doctor but I will just say like what comes to mind and that's what came up I put um, take care of yourself and the way that you eat and don't push yourself over don't push yourself or overexert when exercising. Pay attention to your body. So I just felt the need to say that. Um, whether maybe you are overexerting yourself or maybe you know you shouldn't be eating certain foods, whatever the case may be. And then the last thing I saw was I see a dirt path leading from your feet outward. The path slowly turns to pebbles and then into something else more sturdy so it's kind of like this path starts out as nothing and then it keeps gradually getting stronger um, and then I put a sign that the road ahead will be more clear um, there's movement taking you towards a different road um, change is necessary for growth I hear five months so be on the lookout so definitely um, I feel that there's definitely going to be some shifts and changes with you um, as far as your path that was definitely something that I was catching into um, and I feel like it's gonna be like I said 
five months time you're going to start to see some of these changes mm. so we'll just see what happens now let's talk about the cards and I don't know how I'm going to I guess I could keep the video on me it's going to be too hard to adjust my camera so we'll just keep it on me <laughs> let me just put this down a little bit okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull um oops I have like a big old crystal right here it's getting in the way um, what I'll do is I will pull some cards and, um, excuse my cl crazy clothes. I'm like in my pajamas. <laughs> um, we'll pull cards and see a little bit more about your aura energy. So I really wanted to pull from the native spirit because it gives such spiritual messages, and I feel like that's going to be very helpful for you. So, and I have the guidebook because that always helps too. Medicine bag, thunder drum. Medicine bag. Thunder drum. So, um, medicine bag is all about having the tools. You have the tools with you. You have the tools around you. Um, creating your own space. Creating your own um, things that make you feel safe. Your space is in your home. At work. Having like a, let's say you have your own desk. If you have your own desk space, your own cubicle space at work, putting items like, like crystals, okay? If you're into crystals, if you are into sprays, um, I have some sprays here, some cleansing sprays. Crystals are a big one, plants, flowers, um, statues, anything that just makes you feel safe, comforted, relaxed, um, connected that's what I'm associating with medicine bag it's kind of like you need to create your own space that makes you feel connected um, work is a big one especially if you're working a lot and you are you know you you don't feel as connected at work as you do when you're home obviously in your home you have your sacred space that's that's a good thing um, the other thing is medicine bag is like you can create your own little mojo bag you can call it um put some crystals in there you can put some herbs some you know whatever and carry it with you in your purse and let it be a reminder so i don't know if you like if you're big on crystals but i love like little palm stones or um little tumbled stones that i like to keep sometimes i'll tuck one in my bra or i'll tuck one in a pocket um, I always have a crystal in my purse because sometimes um, we have days where we are just, maybe we're, you're stressed at work, maybe you are fumbling, you're nervous, you, you know, you're anxious and you just need something in your hand, having a crystal in your hand, you know, it just kind of um, gives you something to focus on and it's also very soothing too if you use specific ones. So that's what I'm feeling with medicine bag for you. Um, the importance of creating your own space in different areas you can even have one in your car you can have you know a space in your car too like always having things in your around you to remind you of how safe secure protected that you are and then thunder drum I'm actually gonna look that one up because um, I'm not quite familiar with the thunder drum so let's see it says stand up and be counted be assertive don't be shy about sharing your gifts and letting the world know this is your value. Declare with authority, this is who I am, this is what I stand for. So definitely with Thunder Drum, it's about letting everybody know who you are, what you are, what you are doing, how you are doing it. Um, you beat to the, the beat, you, 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 you go to the beat of your own drum, basically. That's, I totally butchered that, that quote, by the way. <laughs> but it's like, you are in control of you 
in your life and you're owning it. You are owning that, that who you are and you're owning, you know, all of that about yourself. So definitely, um, insightful there for thunder drum. Um, your native spirit wants you to know throughout the world, um, indigenous people have called spirit through drumming. Drumming was used to activate one's, uh, fighting spirit before battle. Um, as well as for joyous celebrations and sacred ceremonies, it was also used for healing rituals. In every case, the drum beat was used to open spiritual realms. This is actually sparking me. Um, there is actually drum beat meditations that you can look for on YouTube. I'm really big about using YouTube for meditation. You can search and there's so many things out there. But there's a lot of like drum drumming meditation, Native American music. I love to do that too. So I feel like um, that'll be really beneficial, especially because I feel like you need to focus more on um, <sighs> focusing more on other chakras, especially if you've been doing a lot of focus work on just the root. You got to start other chakras. And I really feel like your heart chakra, especially because I was feeling the heart towards the end of the channeled reading. Maybe the heart chakra is calling out to you. Maybe that chakra is asking you to give it a little bit more, more attention and more love. So keep that in mind. Now let's pull from the wild unknown tarot. Um, just wanna pull about you, where you're at right now. And maybe just anything that you need to know. to come out ha. nine of swords there's definitely a lot of um, mental tension okay the nine of swords comes up when you are just tangled in your own thoughts when you are dealing with a lot of I don't want to say mixed emotion because I don't feel like it's emotion I think it's more thoughts I feel like you have a lot of like things in your mind that you're jumbled it's tangled um, I feel like there's a lot of areas that you need to put more focus. I feel like the eyeballs are sticking out to me because it's like you need to see. You need to give more attention to certain things. I really feel like intuitively when I was tapping into areas of your childhood that need to be addressed, it's kind of like you got to start slowly removing the swords, um, releasing these things, these pent-up emotions, these pent-up thoughts. Um, experiences things that you don't really want to tap into but you know you need to um, that's gonna be big for you Empress love it so at the core with the Empress card coming up she's all about um, creation Empress is all about fertility but not just in the way of like um, being able to give birth and have children and conceive it's also the creation of you revamping yourself, loving yourself, allowing yourself to bloom and be completely open with who you are, um, to be present, to celebrate, you know, your goddess, like all of that kind of stuff. So I feel like Empress at your core is coming out. It's kind of saying you are in your prime right now. You are at that age and at that area, that stage in your life where you feel more connected with yourself than ever. Um, you feel like you know who you are. You're not questioning so much but there are things in the past that need to come out and finally we have father of wands um, I do feel like the father of wands or this is also the king of wands this is definitely displaying this could be a father figure that maybe you have issues with perhaps this could be a male figure that you have issues with um, but I also feel like the, the king of wands or the father of wands is also symbolic for owning your creativity owning the fire that you have within you um, and letting it out because a king of wands is 100% sure of themselves they are always on fire they are always ready for the next best thing they are ready to conquer um, fire energy is very aggressive fire energy is unforgiving um, so I feel like as you go through this shift of dealing with the past and the not so glamorous stuff um, and owning your true self and just living in the moment you're gonna you're gonna bloom even more 
and I think it's going to be a good thing. And I also think there's going to be a lot of forgiveness. And this is a male figure, I feel. This is, like I said, it could be a father figure. It could be, maybe it was an ex-boyfriend or whatnot. Male figure, there's someone there. There's something there. There's a lot of forgiveness that needs to happen there. Um, but, but it's almost like you're going to be setting yourself free in this process. So, very exciting. Um, but anyways, this concludes your aura energy reading. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you. Um, those of you guys who lasted throughout the rest of this video, this um, reading is available. It's in my shop. Check it out. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.